Good morning. Today we kick off a new set of devotions that line up with the new sermon series that just started yesterday. Uh, the focus is on the afterlife, eternity, heaven, hell, judgment, all those light topics. Um, this, is, uh, this is complicated real estate, but important. Uh, and I think it's very important because we tend to have an approach avoidance relationship with this. Uh, there's some interest in heaven, uh, but there's a lot of avoidance about topics such as death, judgment, and hell. So let me note a few things that drive us here uh, to this topic. I, I first preached on this 25 years ago at Christ Church, and, um, and I've, I've been anxious to return to it. And I remember in my own sort of personal just reflections uh, back in the probably the mid-80s, uh, doing some work on the Sermon on the Mount and realizing how, <laughs> how like little sense the Sermon on the Mount made uh, to me until you begin to factor in eternity. And uh, you've heard from me the phrase, eternity changes everything. Uh, Jason, our, our youngest son, uses that in some of his um, branding for the pour over the email that he has. So, um, so I've, I've been motivated out of scripture. I've also been motivated just as a pastor to return to this topic because I see, uh, I have seen, uh, you know, I mean, in 25 years here at Christ Church and in, you know, I don't know, 35 years, if you think about the work I was doing before that, the college ministry, not so much the consulting, but I've been to, I've been to, I've, I've officiated at, spoken at a lot of funerals been to a lot of uh, bedsides of people who are sick and probably not going to uh, get better, uh, met with families after someone has died. And uh, some of those are, are really profound, sweet times. Others are full of a lot of anxiety and fear and panic and confusion. And uh, so I just see that a lot of people have not prepared for some of the things that are going to happen. And, and I saw a real change happen in um, about 15 years ago with people who had cancer. There used to be a pretty clear line at which point someone would realize that they were not going to beat cancer. And then there was this really a, a, an opportunity to sort of pivot and to, to, for me as a pastor, to say, okay, are you ready for this? Are you ready to meet God? Are you ready? Have you made have you made peace with things and with people? Have you said your last words to those you love and who love you? And then um, I remember the first time it happened when uh, it was pretty obvious to me that this person was not going to get better, but they really, really did not want to talk about anything because there was a new study, a new, uh, you know, MD Anderson had a new drug and they were trying to get into this clinical trial and they just really did not want to think about their own death. And, and that struck me as, a, as just a bad pivot. And so, um, look, not thinking about death uh, is contrary to the early church, where uh, a lot of martyrs uh, would say, look, I'm, I'm very ready to die. Bring on, bring on the lions. There was this guy who wrote a paper about in seminary, Ignatius. Um, Ignatius of Antioch, I think was his name, and he said, let me be food for the wild beasts uh, through whom I can reach God. And uh, he, was, he was sort of, it was a pretty bizarre thing to read, but, uh, but there's a lot of early church martyrs who are very prepared to die. Of course, this is also what we get in Scripture, where Scripture teaches us, like Psalm uh, 39.4, teach me to number my days, right? Help me to meditate on the fact that, uh, that, that my life is fleeting. Of course, we get this with Paul's example in Philippians 1, to live as Christ and to die as gain. Um, and then it's just ignoring death also is just sort of against common sense. I mean, in the United States, this could be the world, actually, I don't know. Uh, but three people die every second, 11,000 people every hour, every day, 250,000 people die. Uh, there's a 100% there's a mortality rate. Um, and yet many people are not thinking about it. There are many Christians who have not been to a funeral, not taken this seriously. And so I think there's a great opportunity here uh, because uh, 
death has lost its sting, right? To understand who Jesus is and the resurrection and its power and what it means, there's, a, there's real opportunity here. Uh, so it is important for those of us who are um, chronologically superior, uh, especially to think about this. I mean, I get if you're young, not thinking about death uh, very much. Uh, you know, when you're young, you think death is only for those who are old, like those who are in their, I don't know, their 30s and 40s. Uh, but I want us to think over the next uh, six weeks in, the, in morning devotions, but also in the sermon series about the afterlife. So, um, Let's set our eyes on things above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God the Father. Have a good day.